everybody, welcome to another epic video of the Civil Canadians. Now, this topic um, was requested by a viewer, um, D.Y. Nasty. Um, so thanks, buddy, for giving me the, the suggestion for the video because originally I was just going to talk about Spider-Man Far From Home, but you gave me this idea. I've decided to uh, take your suggestion and now it's a video. I do listen to my, uh, to my viewers. I do read the comments, so... Anybody in the future who has a suggestion for a video, let me know in the comments below. And if I like the idea, I will do it. All right. So, by basically from the title of this video, I'm gonna fan cast uh, the b villains for Batman. Um, I have a whole list, but you know what? I might skip a couple of them. Um, if you want to see my full list, I'm gonna take a picture of the list and I'll put it on our Instagram page. Um, because I think from the Batman, there's only gonna be two or three villains. But um, if you want to see the full list, I'll probably put it up here somewhere. I'll put it like over here for you to see. It'll be very quick, so you got to pause the video to see. Um, but it'll be on our Instagram page to see the full list. Um, so let's go with um, Catwoman. Um, Eza Gonzalez, I picked for the Catwoman. She looks beautiful. She looks like that kind of person that would be uh, Catwoman uh, because I know they're gonna go with uh, Robert Pattinson for Batman so she's young she looks young and uh, she looks like she'll fit the role for Catwoman and uh, Robert Pattinson's um, Batman next one I have is Poison Ivy and who I picked for Poison Ivy is Jessica Chastain now she's gonna be in um, Dark Phoenix coming out later uh, or actually I think not next week, the week after. Um, it's coming out in June, so she's the main villain in that one. And she's been in Interstellar and Molly's Game. Um, she's been in some great roles, and I think she's beautiful. And she looks like Poison Ivy. You, you got to admit, she she does look like Poison Ivy. Um, um, the Riddler, I have Matt Smith. He looks... You guys, you look at, look, if you look at his picture, he does look like the Riddler. I know there's some other actors out there that can play the role of Riddler. I know at one point Johnny, I think Johnny Depp was uh, considered for the Riddler and I know Jim Carrey was the Riddler. He did great because Jim Carrey is more uh, like a comic comedian, like comic book version of the Riddler, which he was in whatever Batman that he was showed up in. So I have Matt Smith for the Riddler and the Penguin. The Penguin, I picked Paul Giamatti just because he looks like the Penguin. If he just hunches his back like like the hunchback of Nur Nurse Dormus or whatever, he just go like that, and then he looks like the penguin. Uh, who played the penguin in the original? Danny DeVito, I think, played penguin in the original Batman Returns. So I think Paul Giamatti would that he he can be serious. Like if you've seen him in um, Billions and and I think San Andreas, he was in. Holy crap, that guy is like he can go from like normal dude to like pissed off dude and like you're going on a rampage so i think he'll um be a perfect uh <laughs> a perfect penguin <laughs> oh my god i just i just thought of something funny just, paul giamatti just kills me I, 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 when when I, I giggled because he was the rhino in uh in spider-man the amazing spider-man and he had nothing to do all he did was like i'm gonna kill you with my robotic suit Duh. so that's how <laughs> Just, that's what pops in my head. But I can see him as the penguin. Uh, I have for Mr. Freeze, I have Ed Harris. He, come on, he looks like Mr. Freeze. And Arnold was um, the F Mr. Freeze. He was so horrible as Mr. Freeze. But I have Ed Harris as um, Mr. Freeze. Um, let's see, who should I do? Mad Hatter, he's never been in the movies before. So Mad Hatter, I put Toby Jones. He does look like um, the Riddler. Uh, the Riddler, excuse me. Oh my God, uh, he does look like um, Mad Hatter because he was in the first Captain America: First Avenger as Ar Arnim Zola. So he, Mad Hatter, short. He's short, so it's perfect. And he has like that, like, rid like that um, Alice in the Wonderland type feel. If you were to be part of uh, the Batman lore as Mad Hatter. Hush, I put Matt Damon. Just because Matt, if you've seen Matt Damon throughout the roles in, um, in Martian and other roles, he's been in so many movies. Um, Hush basically has his face covered and he's trying to mimic Bruce Wayne or whoever he wants to mimic. So Matt Damon would have been 
perfect for Hush. Um, I have Clayface. Clayface also never showed up in the movies. I have Andy Serkis just because Clayface is just he's he would be CGI basically. So Clayface um, would be Andy Serkis. The Joker. This is a tough one. I really didn't want to touch the Joker because Heath Ledger was the best. Um, Jared Leto sucked. And I don't know how Joaquin Phoenix is going to do. If Joaquin Phoenix Joker shows up in Matt Reeves' Batman, I'm fine with that. Um, uh, but I put William Dafoe. I know he was in the Aquaman movie um, as his mentor. But come on. If you look at William Dafoe, he's the Green Goblin. You know, that's no doubt that he's he played the Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin. And if you see those fan edit pictures of him as a Joker, he looks like the Joker. And I think the Joker is like... 30, 40 years or whatever older than Batman, Batman I think. I don't know how what's the age difference. But William Dafoe can play the psychiatrist, like the crazy role. Because he was crazy when he was the Green Goblin in the original Spider-Man movie. So I have him as the Green Goblin. Um, Two-Faced, I wanted this actor to be Batman if they went with an older Batman. Just to recast Ben Affleck. But they're rebooting the Batman. Um, so for... Two faced, I put um, John Hamm. I wanted him to be Batman, but whatever. I have him as um, Two Face, uh, Bane. <coughs> Excuse me, Bane. I have Javier Brandon. Oh my God, that guy looks. He looks like Bane. Look at his. Just look at his face. He looks like Bane. Put some uh, venom in his blood, man. He's good. So that's pretty much. My list, uh, I also have a list for Firefly and a whole bunch of other, I have Scarface and this, I'm trying to keep this video short, um, so I'm going to post a list on our Instagram, um, so go check that out. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this week's episode, thank you for watching, make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about this video, and you know what, be good, don't be a hater, um... That's it, guys. Thanks for the support. More unboxing videos coming your way. And, yeah, see you soon. Be good.